Hello everyone, I am going to be doing my top 10 movies I watched in my childhood ranked list because it is my birthday month. So, we're going to do 10 movies that I remember watching when I was like a little boy, a little boy. But now I'm all grown up, high school, yeah. So number 10, we have, sorry, my nose is really weird too. Number 10, we have Nanny McPhee and the Big Bang. Okay, so this movie I watched as a little boy, and I did, I did, and did I like this movie. I mean, it was not the best, but it was an okay film to watch. I mean, I was, I watched this one uh, and the other one. Which is a bit high on my list because you can find out more about that later. But for this movie, I'll give it a C minus. Number nine, we have Wild Hogs. I do remember watching this movie. I like this movie. I mean, movies on this list are some I like and dislike, like Nana McPhee too. But that is okay because I'm just ranking movies that I remember watching when I was in my childhood, aka little. And this was one. I liked Wild Hogs. I mean, it's not the best, but it is a fun and good time to watch. For my grade, I'll give it a B plus. Number eight, we have a music on the list. Yes, we do. Mary Poppins from 1964. Okay, so this is the only musical I've watched when I was little, as I remember. I love this movie. I mean, the 2018 one was okay. But then this one is is still one of my favourite musicals from this day in Ford. I love Julia Angels and Dick Van Dyke in this movie. They were amazing. For my grade, I'll give it an A minus. Number seven. We have Nanny McPhee. Nanny McPhee is my number seven because I love the story and the cast and the plot and the score. And the soundtrack, mostly everything about this movie, I loved. And the person from the Maze Runner was here because I loved the Maze Runner and I love the characters in this movie. I think they were good. For my grade, I'll give it an A-. And also, when I was little, for some weird reason, I was a little bit scared of Nanny McPhee. I have no idea why, but yeah, I was a little bit scared of... Well, most, I mostly was scared of Nanny McPhee. I don't know why, but yeah. Number six, because I was thinking, I was like, what? what are some more movies? And I was like, that's it, flushed away as my number six. Okay, this movie is amazing. Well, from the last time I checked, which was like two days ago, and I love this. Uh, I love the characters in this movie. I remember watching this movie lying down on my bed, switching through the channels. Then I saw that flushed away was on, and I fell in love with this movie. I had no idea. But Hugh Jackman is in this movie, and Andy Serkis, who also in this, who was also in this, and I had no idea. I was just surprised. For my grade, I'll give this movie an A plus. Number five, like I flushed away. I was like thinking, I was like, got it. Monsters Inc. Now here we have the company that I always watch as a child, and that was Pixar. And we're going to talk about one of their films, Monsters, Inc. I do remember watching this movie as a little boy. I was with my family having dinner. Then one was like, we should watch Monsters, Inc. I had never heard of this movie before. So I watched I watched it and I, wa I watched it from that. I'll watch it and I'll watch it from that day and forward. I still love this movie. So that is why I will give the grade an A+. Plus. Number four, we have Toy Story. Toy Story is another Pixar movie I saw from Pixar. I mean, it was just a fun time. I do remember the first time watching this movie. I was in my lounge having some fish and chips. Then we were going on Netflix and we found Toy Story. So we watched so we watched it. It was just a fun movie that I love from the stave and Ford. I love everything about this movie, like the story. Uh, and the plot slash premise 
the character styles, all of those things are just amazing about how this movie was created. So that is why I'll give it an A plus for my grade. Number three. We have Toy Story 3. Okay, so it's basically a Pixar list of Toy Stories. Like I said, all these movies I watched when I was little was Pixar movies. So that is why we have a lot of, uh, a lot of them. I have a lot of love for all of them. <coughs> uh, no, uh, not all the movies are great. <coughs> Class 2. Um, but they are just amazing. The movies like this one had a lot of feeling to me because I found the ending a bit emotional. But that is why I'll give it the third spot. Also higher than the OG Toy Story. So that, it, so that for the grade, I'll give it an A+. Plus. Number two. Our top two. We have Toy Story 2. Toy Story 2 mostly because this was an action was actually the first Pixar movie I watched that I remember of. This movie is basically my childhood. Like this movie, I had, I'm a huge, huge fan of the Toy Story franchise, but, uh, but I'm not a little kid anymore. Still, this franchise, I still will have, uh, I will still watch from this day because it has a lot of feeling to me. So that is why I'll give the grade an A+. My number one. I know it's a Christmas movie, but upon upon I know it's a Christmas movie, but Home Alone, Home Alone, it's 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 a Christmas movie, but this movie came on. This has to be in your top ten childhood movies. Like this movie is just a classic. Like the famous line, Kevin, is still popular from this day. So 30 years ago, this movie, uh, from 30 years ago, that line, Kevin, is still, like, popular. This movie was just a fun time to watch. Like, the cast, like, Macaulay Culkin is just phenomenal as Kevin McAllister. Like, this movie is a movie that I'll watch for Christmas every year. Like, when that, uh, I will watch, I will I will watch it uh, this Christmas, and I'll do a surprise thing for Christmas with this movie, so you have to find out what it is, can't tell anyone, but yeah, um, for my grade for this movie, I'll give it an A+. Thank you for listening to my ranking on top 10 movies I watched in my childhood, ranked, thank you for watching, hope you had a great time like I did, uh, please subscribe to my channel, it'll be a big help, thank you for listening. Have a good day, have a good night, have a good afternoon, whatever. Just stay safe. Well, f most of the countries wear a mask. You wear a mask. And how many feet you have to stay away, because in our country, we're sweet. Well, we're getting cases, but yeah. Anyway, peace.